G'day guys, I'm James from JSH Fencing and uh, together with Munro Engineering, this is the new Munro Wirewinder. With this machine, it's saved a lot of time and labour and generally what used to take me sort of a good day's worth of work. So long as the fence is pretty clean, you can have it all rolled up within sort of around about 10-15 minutes. As an operator, I find it's a lot less strenuous on the body and it's a lot easier on your back, you're not hunched up all day rolling up your fence lines and saves an absolute heck of amount of time. The machine's designed for single man operation basically. It's controlled via the third function on the front end loader. Generally the machine can't be operating if you're not on the tractor. So it's a safe machine to be using. Just make sure that there are no bystanders standing by whilst you're winding up. We're on a little bit of steep terrain here today, so I've just got the tractor parked in a slightly safer spot. One of the good features about the machine is you can sort of just take the fence to wherever it's safe. You don't have to totally follow the fence line. So we've cut the wires evenly off the end of the strainer assembly. Uh, I've just got them stabbed in the ground at an even length. So we've got four barbed wires and we've got a plane. So we've got the tractor parked up on a bit safer ground, so we'll take the fence to the machine. So now what we want to do is we just want to feed the wires through the eyelet that's closest to the fence line that we're going to be driving. And all you need to do is just one loose twitch around the base of the spinner assembly to get the coil started. Make sure you're wearing your gloves that there and we're right to go. So now we'll get in the tractor and uh, we'll get going and I'll run you through the basic functions of the machine and how to evenly feed the spool. Alright so we'll just get the tractor onto a bit safer ground to turn. Uh, we'll just use a little bit of slack left in the fence line to get up to a bit higher ground and uh, we'll get started. Just building up a bit of size to the spool now, and we're right to go. All right, so that's our first fence line done. We've got roughly about 200 meters on the spool, and I think it took us probably a good 45 odd seconds. So now I'll run through with you how to disassemble the machine and get the wire off of the spinner. So first thing you want to do is pull this top brace here off, like so. And just in here we've got a little, little tapered pin which holds this other piece on. So you just pull the arc clip out, slide out the tapered pin, and pull your top section out, like so. So we want to cut out wires here where we've twitched them to the base of the spinner section. So now what we need to do, just give it a little wiggle, break the taper, and slide it off. And that is a neat coil of wound up wire. So when you get started and you've got a small spool of wire on, because you don't quite have the surface area of a big spool, you sort of got to keep your tractor revs up, keep it spinning pretty quick until you get a bit of surface area. And then generally as it builds, you can sort of start going through your gears a bit. The main things you got to sort of focus on while you're operating it is if you do want to go sort of a bit quicker with it. So I've had the machine up to around 16, 20 odd K an hour, obviously depending on your ground. You know, the more wires you get, the quicker the spool sort of fills up so it's controlled via the third function on the loader so you just use your joystick to control the speed and as well you can use your tractor revs then you've got to work your gears in with it as well this tractor here it sort of pumps around 75 odd litres a minute which is no dramas for it it easily sort of keeps up around the 15 to 20 k an hour mark in the flatter ground you adjust the pitch of the machine to be able to fill the spool of wire in the hills if you're going through gullies or whatnot depending on the tension of the wire it can pull itself 
either to the top or the bottom of the eyelet. It generally sort of fills itself pretty well, but on the flatter ground you, you just yeah, alter the pitch of the machine and then you can control the feed of the spool. Usually, uh, if you've got sort of anywhere from four to five, six barbs, you should be able to get around 400 odd metres of run on the spool. Generally, it took me a bit to get used to it, um, but once I got used to it and you can maintain a good tension on the wire, uh, you can sort of yeah, fit the 400 on pretty well. And on the sides here, uh, we've got a couple of legs that drop down, so if you go out and do a job, if you've got sort of, you know, a K and a half a fence line, you can easily take your few spools home with you out of the job and they roll up small enough, you can chuck them in a skip, no worries. Yeah, the machine's fairly light, so it's no worries in the hills. Like if you sort of, if you've got to have your loader up to pull it up out of the ground, it's fairly safe to use. You know, I've had a couple of jobs now, if you might have three or so wires that are all grown up through cooch or blackberries or tussocks or whatnot. It's, um, it's no worries at all. You just use a tilt your loader over, just lift it up and stop spinning and use the tension in the machine to lift the wires out of the ground. Just it mimics your natural action of pulling up out of the grass with pliers. You know, as you put the loader back down, pull forward a touch, wind it up, repeat your action until you're out of blackberries or whatever stuff it is that's jamming up the wires. Fantastic machine, saves a heck of a lot of time. Definitely a great thing to be having. Uh, another handy feature about the machine, you, when you can utilise the two eyelets, if you get fence lines, uh, you've got a corner assembly, two fence lines running off either direction. If they're in plain wire and the fence line's pretty clean at either end, you can cut your fence, cut it at your stay, uh, you can park 45 degrees to the two fence lines and um, you can feed a, feed a fence in through each eyelet and you can just sit on the spot and suck two fence lines into you at once. So to put it into perspective, what the machine can do, uh, we had a 300 odd acre dairy farm, sort of 25, 30 odd paddocks, two lane systems, and we had the whole thing stripped in 27 and a half hours. So without the machine, I think probably by hand it would have taken us easily a couple of weeks, and we had it done within a few days. So definitely a brilliant piece of gear.